Now we're going to look at new theory. Over the years, many, many people have been responsible for creating many weird and wonderful ideas when it comes to the turntables, mixers, and how they use their records. We're going to show you some of the things which we believe we've created and hopefully given to turntablism. Wires on cartridges. The idea is just to, to give you a sound of percussion and a sense of percussion which you can put in a piece, in a team or in an individual routine. And it goes like... That's called stuff. Scratching with the EQs, basically got a section of a record that's got... And just basically going through the rhythm, cutting everything out and then bringing in each band of the EQ in time with the drum. So bass first, top top next, and then uh, mid on the snare. You can also bring in both the top and the mid at the same time to kind of bring the sound up a bit more. next on the menu. Cartridges. The idea to play the cartridges as an instrument of percussion, which can be done using an awful lot of volume, an awful lot of EQ and an awful lot of 07 and a little bit of brain. The idea is to put a lot of low on one side, a lot of mid on the other side, so you effectively have a kick drum, you have your snare drum, that's the theory, but the idea is to create a feel of a drum being played, a drum kit being played. Feedback, or head tones, as it's been called by someone who didn't invent it, um, 
is a theory of feeding the mixer into itself in order to create a feedback loop. So you can either feed the mixer out of itself on the jack leads at the back of an 07 into the session in, or you can come out of the headphone socket as I have done here and come into one side of the session in. The advantage of using the headphone output is that you can use the headphone monitor level to cut the sound in and out. And you can also use the master Q switch to cut the sound in and out. So you can use the both of them in unison. The master volume also acts as uh, an octave change. I can't demonstrate it today because your telly isn't going to be in stereo, but you also get a tone difference from left to right in the mixer that you feed the sound into. And that's it. Feedback theory, not head tones. <laughs>